that Peter was trying to give to it. And then he's like, yo, why don't you just go talk to the, uh, you know, MIT person and be like, Hey, I'm Spider-Man. Like let my friends go to your college or whatever. <laughs> Strange is like, why didn't you even like consult them about it? Which is kind of a, a fair question, which I mean, just makes this whole thing just kind of stupid. I mean, I, I don't know. I feel like they just like with this whole thing, they just couldn't figure out a way to like open the multiverse. So they had to like make, make it. And they didn't without make, they couldn't figure out a way to open up the multiverse without making strange look like a complete idiot. So they just kind of put it all on Peter and strange at the same time. I don't know. I just think it's kind of stupid this whole, but again, uh, um, <laughs> you know, uh, ultimately what comes of it is entertaining enough that I can look over some of this stuff. But again, it's just things like this that, you know, you look at and you're like, this could have been done better. And I think with, with, with more like, you know, creativity and taking a little bit more time on some of this stuff, instead of just trying to crank it out, which is what a lot of this stuff feels like, even though this movie I would say is definitely the best written of all of them. I would just say in general, the MCU does a lot of this stuff and it feels very contrived, you know, um, which I, is my biggest complaint with a lot of this film is that everything feels like it's just trying to build up to the reveals and to the, uh, you know, action sequences and to the, you know, yeah, to those, to basically those two things, to the action sequences. And I get with an action movie and with these kind of moves, you have to build up the action sequences, but it felt like everything that all the even decisions that characters make. And that's the biggest problem I have is, is some of the decisions that these characters make. And I'll get into it. But like, you know, decisions that they make in this film feel like they're done just to set the movie up. You know, it doesn't feel like it would it would be a decision that a normal, rational person would make. Um, and the, yeah, and this MIT thing, I'm, I'm just, I just think this is just kind of silly more than anything. I don't think that's one of those examples, but I think it's just silly. Anyway, so... Peter goes, uh, you know, he gets the idea from Strange to go basically to talk to the uh, MIT professor administrator and basically try and get Ned and MJ to go there at least because he knows he's not going to be able to go. So he basically stops her and has this weird conversation with her in the middle of the street. And she's so calm as like Spider-Man is literally talking to her in the middle of the street. Like, you know, um, I just was like. Okay, like I, they couldn't have picked a better setting than the middle of the street. Like, why couldn't you have just had it happen at the airport? Well, I guess because then you couldn't, have, you would have had to have the fight scene happen at the airport, and we've already had a fight scene in an airport, so um, that's fair, I guess. I guess it, I mean, I don't know. Maybe make her have a take a train then. I don't know. 